I have published my Android app on Google Play Store and you can do the same by watching this video. If we haven't met before, my name is Rana and this is a step-by-step -step video guide to show you how to create an Android app without knowing a single line of code and then we will upload that app on Google Play Store. Basically, we will convert our existing website into an Android app. If you say why? Well, because majority of us have Android devices and if you have e-commerce website, you can increase the conversion. If you write a blog, you can increase the traffic of your website. In a bonus, I'll show you how to place an ads on your application so that you can make some extra cash with your application. So before I start building this Android app, I want to let you know this. Creating an Android app is totally free. But if you want to publish your app on Google Play Store, there will be a 25 US dollar registration fees and this registration fees will be a one time payment guys. So make sure you have some budget if you want to publish your app on Google Play Store. So without wasting more time, let's get started. Okay, open up any web browser that you have in your computer and type in this URL nitron.com and press enter you will find the same website link in the video description once you land on this website click over here create apps it will open builder.nitron.com slash login it says you have to create an account on this website fixale.com whatever it is and here you have to create an account so click on sign up just fill this simple sign up form i'm gonna quickly fill in the details once you fill in the details make sure you check this box and this one as well and click on continue now you have to verify your email just go to your mailbox and here you should receive an email from this website click on this email and click on confirm account so now your email has been verified successfully let's log in type your username or email and password and then log in so i'm going to quickly fill in the details let's click on login okay once you successfully log in on this website let's go back to nitron.com and click on create apps all right now click on i accept and then click on got it so now click on new top right corner and select empty activity and type the project name and leave the package name blank and then click on next okay so this screen will pop up so let me quickly review this entire dashboard in the left hand side you will see all the components that you can add inside your application all these components are drag and drop elements that you can add into your application directly like this okay in the top right section you will see all the tools that you can use to customize your website your application this section right here represent how many elements has been added inside your application right side you will see all the properties of particular item that you have selected from here in the middle of this area you will see the preview of your application and of course you can change the device type from here i'm gonna leave it as it is currently we are inside the screen one as you can see over here you can add as many screens on your application as you want if you click over here you will see a block section where all the magic happens basically this section will allow you to add different types of rules or logics math and stuff like that don't worry this part also be easy part now click over here designer so this is the designer mode we back to the designer mode so first thing first let's click on this gear icon and here a pop-up screen will open and this is a project setting here you can see we have different types of tab here first we have the app name type the name of your application mine is already fine package name i'm gonna leave it blank next application icon you can add application icon over here currently i haven't uploaded any asset yet so why don't we just upload an asset first so let's close this out and let's click on the assets icon and here drag and drop your application icon or you can click over here so this is my application icon select and click open so once you upload your icon let's click on cancel let's go back to your gear icon application settings now under the first tab scroll down under the app icon click on this drop down button now you should see your icon over here click on that next we have the splash screen if you want to add splash screen you can add that let me add the same icon next let's go to release tab here select the minimum sdk version i'm gonna select android 13.0 and the targeted sdk version should be the same okay version code one maybe in later if you want to upgrade your application 
you can change the version code from here and your version name as well let's click on the monetization here you can add your ad mob app id if you want to run ads inside your application so for that you have to go to ad mob account type google ad mob and open up a first website click on sign in and sign in with your google account so if you're signing up on google ad mob first time you should see the screen like this let's get you started get more out of ad mob i'm gonna select yes and i'm gonna select my country i'm from india i'm gonna check this box and then click on start using ad mob click on continue to ad mob so it says payment setup is incompleted. You can complete your payment setup by clicking on fix it and add your payment account. I'm going to skip this part because I'm not going to add a payment account into this newly created AdMob account. But in your case, you should add your payment account in order to work your AdMob account properly. Anyways, let's go to home. I'm going to click on get started. Select the platform. I'm going to select Android. Next, I'm going to select no. Is the app listed on supported app store no and then click on continue type your app name and then click on add app so you have successfully added your application now you can create ad units and test your sdk integration after you complete testing you can publish your app to supported app store add store to your mobile app will do a few check to make sure it is ready to show ads this typically takes couple of days but in some cases may require more time to evaluate your app. Click done. Now you should see your earning over here. Now let's start generating an ad unit. Click on add unit. I'm going to select the banner ad. Add unit name. I'm going to call it banner. Banner 1. And then click on create ad unit. Now you should see your ad unit. Now copy your ad unit. Go back to your Nitron app builder. And paste your ad unit over here. And your and the second one as well. Come back here and paste both of these ad unit over here once you do it let's go to themes and design here you can change the theme style i'm going to change to dark and color you can also change the color of your application if you want i'm going to leave it as it is next we have the additional in the additional you can add a tutorial url over here if you have one i'm going to leave this blank next responsive make sure this responsive function is selected and that's the pretty much it let's close this out so we have successfully added the google AdMob ad unit inside our application once they approve your application the ads will start appearing on your application and you will make money okay let's proceed further come to the right side here you can see we have different types of settings over here the things that i like to change is scroll down i'm gonna uncheck the show status bar and i also like to hide the title visibility because I like to work with a neat and clean design. Awesome. If you don't want to hide your title and want to change the name, all you can do is just change the title from here like so. You will see the preview right away. Okay. I like to hide the title. So once you're done, let's proceed with adding some components inside our application. So come over here in the left hand side and search for web viewer. And drag and drop this component over here and you can see under screen one we have this component now select this one and come to the right side and type a url of your website if your website doesn't have ssl certificate make sure you check this box otherwise your app will not work properly so keep in mind that once you add the url of your website let's go to blocks area okay so this part is very crucial so make sure you focus on this part if you make any mistake your application won't work okay so follow exact same steps first of all click on screen one and here search for one screen one back pressed do this this component drag and drop this component anywhere on this area like so now click on control and then search for if then else if then now drag and drop this component over here now you should connect this block with this existing block and you will hear the sound like this when you hear the sound like this that means you have connected the block with when screen one back pressed so basically when screen one back pressed what should happen this control should work okay 
So we'll keep adding more and more blocks into this area. So make sure you focus on this part very carefully. Now we're going to remove this else. To do it, click on this gear icon and drag and drop this else over this gray area. And that's it. Click on anywhere on the screen. Now we have if then, else if then. Okay, that's what we want. Now let's go to logic and drag and drop this component over here and snap it over here like so and now go to web viewer one and search for this component web viewer and current url and snap it over here let's go to text and add a text block over here and in this section we're going to type the website url and click anywhere on the screen so there is a one more thing that we need to add inside our application that we have forget let's go back to designer mode and here search for notifier and drag and drop this component into your application let's go back to blocks and now select notifier and search for this component call notifier one show alert notice drag and drop this component and snap it over here now go to notify once again and search for this component call notifier show choose dialog message title button one text button two text and cancelable and drag and drop this component and snap it over here and now go to web viewer and search for this component call web viewer one and can go back and snap it over here and one more time go to web viewer and search for this component call web viewer go back and snap it inside the then inside under the else if then now go to text block and search and drag and drop this component and snap it over here and under this box type can't go back anymore now again go to text and drag and drop this component over here and now we need one two three three more the same block so what we can do is we're going to right click and duplicate three time let's snap them into their respective position now under the message type do you want to exit under the title type exit button one text should be yes and button two text should be empty do exactly what i did over here now go to notifier and drag and drop this component when notifier after choosing what what should happen drag and drop this component anywhere on the screen do not snap this component inside this block area just leave this as it is now let's go to control now drag and drop this component if then and snap it over here let's go to logic and snap this component inside here let's go to variables and insert this block over here and go to this drop down button and select choose and now just copy this block this yes block right click duplicate and drag and drop this component over here and finally let's go to control and search for close application drag and drop and snap this component over here all right guys so we successfully done with the blocks area if you confuse a little bit don't worry you can take a screenshot and copy the exact same structure to build this android app now let's go back to designer mode all right so it's time to upload this application on google play store but before that you need to download this application apk file and app bundle apk file for testing purposes before you upload your application on google play store you must verify if this app working or not so for that let's go to this icon build and download your apk file and your app bundle so let's download both of them let's download apk file first now you can see it says building and you will see the percentage over here so wait for a few seconds it will export your apk file okay now click on the download button to download your file so apk file has been downloaded let's go ahead and download the app bundle android app bundle dot abb file click on that and it will export this type of file as well for uploading on google play store okay now click on download to download this app bundle okay both file has been downloaded successfully now let's click on cancel and let's test this application on our android phone first and then we will ready to upload this app on google play store go to your android phone and open your file manager and locate the application file wherever you save it mine is under asus folder this is the app 
tap on it and tap on install you may see this type of warning don't worry tap on more details and then tap on install anyway now tap on open and your application will open like this all right so you can see our website is now loaded inside our application let's try to open any product so this is my product page you can see let's press the back button and we have successfully back one step that's working let's press back button once again and you can see this message can't go back anymore and exit do you want to exit cancel and yes let's cancel this time and now let's press back button one more time and let's see if the yes button is working press yes and you can see we have successfully exit the app now let me show you what device i'm using currently under my settings i'm gonna scroll down tap on system and this is my phone asus rog 5s and it has the android version 13 you can see amazing so with that we can verify that our application is working perfectly fine okay so now we are ready to upload our app on google play store so for that perform a google search for google play console and press enter and open this website google play console so in order to create an account on google play console your email must have two-factor authentication setup so let me quickly set up my two-factor authentication i'm going to click on get started continue now send a message now enter the code after typing the code click next it says validating pin now click on turn on okay so two-factor authentication is on let me close this out and let me refresh the page and now you should see page like this now here you have to click on yourself or you can go for organization if you're creating an account for yourself select the second option and then click on continue here type your company name your brand name whatever it is or you can simply type your name if you like because this name will be displayed on google play store and then click next this name is already taken so let me write a new one macy singh anyways click next now click on create or select payment profile click on create new payment profile continue fill in the details after filling the details click save and then click next developer email address type your real email over here do not type any fake email remember that let's verify your email click on verify email address it says email address verified through your google account now scroll down check this box and click next now here you have to write something about yourself i pre-prepared this context i'm gonna copy it and then paste it over here scroll down this won't be visible to anyone else and won't be send any communication to any other google account i'm going to select no and then here you have to type your website url if you don't have a website don't worry you can check this box and proceed further i'm going to type in the url of my website and click next in this section i'm going to select two to five i'm going to select yes and uh, select ads scroll down select the category or maybe you can go with i don't know yet whatever it is let's select the category i'm going to select none of above and then click next contact name contact email address and you can see email address is verified preferred language english contact phone number type of phone number and then you have to verify that click on verify phone number enter the six digit code now click verify once you verify your phone number click next now check these two boxes and click on create account and pay so as i mentioned before guys you have to pay 25 dollar in order to get your play console account here you have to add your credit card or debit card information by clicking on this button type your card details and billing address and then click on save card and complete the payment since i already have google play console account i'm not gonna purchase it again so let me quickly log in into my original account and i'll see you there so once you pay your 25 dollar for google play console account log in into google play console account go to play.google.com slash console and you should see your account over here select your developer account and scroll down and you can see i have uploaded three apps on google play console one is rejected just because this is a test app and these two apps are published to publish a new app first of all let me close this out survey 
To publish a new app, click on Create App button. You should see on your home page of your Google Play console. Click on Create App and here type the name of your app. I'm gonna call it Naughty Kid underscore test. Select your language. This is an app or game. This is an app. Free or paid? Free. Scroll down, check these two boxes and then click on Create App at the bottom right. Now scroll down under the set up your app, expand this one, view tasks and then we have to complete all these tasks one by one. First we have set privacy policy. Open this up and paste your privacy policy URL over here. So let me go to my website, scroll down and this is my privacy policy page. Let's copy the URL, close this out, paste the URL over here and then click on save at the bottom right. Let's go back. You can see one task is complete. Let's go with app access, select all functionalities and click save. Let's go back to the dashboard. Next we have ads. Does your app contain ads? Yes. Click save. Go back to the dashboard. Scroll down. Content rating. Click on start questionnaire. Type your real email. Select the category. All other apps type and click next. Select no. Basically, you have to select no under every single option. Keep selecting no and then click on save and then click next. Scroll down. Everything is done. Now click on save. So we are done with the content rating. Let's go back to the dashboard. Scroll down. Click on target audience. I'm going to select 18 and over. Click next and select no. Click next. Click save and go back to the dashboard. Scroll down. Select news app. Is your app a news app? No. Click save. Go back to the dashboard. Scroll down. COVID-19. Select the last option. My app is not publicly available on COVID-19 content tracing or status app. Then click save. Let's go back to the dashboard. Scroll down. Data safety. Scroll down. Click next. Select no. And click next. Click save. And then go to the dashboard. Scroll down. Government app. Is your app developed by or on the behalf of the government? For example, national health, city parking or status licensing app? No. Click save. Let's go back. Scroll down. Financial feature. Financial feature in your app? Scroll down. Select my app doesn't provide any financial feature. Click next and click save. Let's go back to the dashboard. Scroll down and click on select an app category and provide contact details. And here, click on manage tag. Here I'm going to select baby care and click apply. Category is not selected. Let's click on add it. Select the category. I'm going to select shopping. Where it is. This one. Click save. Let's close this one. Now category selected. Tags is there. Keep scrolling down. Here you should add your email, phone number and website. Let's click on add it. Enter your email, phone number and your website. And click save. So I have to add the country code as well. Click save and let's close this out. Now keep scrolling down. So with that, let's go back, scroll down. So you can see we have completed this task, select an app category and provided contact details. Next, click on set up your store listing, type a short description and full description over here. I'm gonna type something like best kid products and full description. Now scroll down here. Under the graphics, you have to upload your app icon. Let's upload the icon. So you can see the size of the icon. Select the app icon and click open. Scroll down, feature graphics. And you can also see the recommended size over here for your graphics. Let's click on upload. You can see the size over here as well. Click open. If you have a YouTube video, you can add a YouTube video URL over here. Currently, I don't have a YouTube video URL. Let's scroll down. Now I have to upload a screenshot of my application. So open your app and take up to eight screenshot, minimum two from different page and then upload your screenshot over here. So click on upload. I'm going to select all the screenshot. I have seven, click open, scroll down for tablet. I'm going to upload the same screenshot, click open for 10 inch tablet, upload the same screenshot. Scroll down for Chromebook. I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's click save. So as you can see, icon is updated over here. Once you click on save, let's go to production. Under the production, let's go to countries. 
click on add countries and region and here select the country where you like to publish your app first of all let me close this out i'm going to select the entire world just by checking this box it will select all countries click save let's go to release dashboard let's click on create new release so here i'm gonna select choose signing key let's click on use google generated key wait for a few seconds it will generate a signing key okay once it will generate the key now you are able to upload your app bundle over here android app bundle dot abb file so select your app bundle click on upload select your abb file that we have downloaded from nitron.com remember select the file click open scroll down type your release name i'm gonna call my app is this will be your app name okay as you can see this is the version code this is the api level target sdk screen layout abis and required feature one and so on all the details has been fetched through this app bundle scroll down and here type your release note once you type your release note click next and here you can see we have one warning let's click on show more you can see your app currently target api level 31 you must target at least api level 33 to ensure it is to build for build on latest api optimization or security and performance okay let's fix this up let's go back let's go to the production and upload the app once again i think i selected the wrong app bundle in this one i should select it open it let me delete this one let's change the signing key so i'm getting this type of error message version code one already been used because i've already uploaded this app on my google play store but in your case you won't see any type of error message just click next and in the next page you will see a button roll out to production click on that and your app will be published on google play store in no time all right guys that's the end of this video if you found this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one and thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to check out these two videos right here guys and that being said, goodbye. Till then, I'll see you next time.